This is crazy. Holy smoke. Where are you guys for all the attempted murders, hate crimes, racism, corruption? We're, we're the fire department. I know. I had to call you guys like three different times because Bob left the smoke alarm on up for weeks for us to die. And I had to keep calling for you guys to do it. We all could die in here for all he cares. Look, uh, ma magically all the cops are here for me. I know, I'm just saying. I have to record this. All the cops are here for me, magically I called. Well, not cops. Well, cops. I know, but someone named Michael. You just got evicted. We already know it's footage. So corrupt. So corrupt. There's a light director on the door. Excuse me. Excuse me. If you go, please, please. If you go through the door, that door, there's a... What do you call it? Extinguisher. I don't want to bust me. It's not mounted. Where's the extinguisher that you're? And I had to call you guys. Uh, I had to call you guys two weeks ago because we left the smoke alarm on for two weeks for us to die and call. And um, I had to do it last time. We set up some, the kid named Jimmy. Uh, I could get him uh, innocent. He got set up. He didn't do nothing. But no, I never called the cops or the fire department. So someone named Michael called? That's hilarious. Michael never called. Michael never called. The corruption here is insane. What happened to the guy that fell down the steps and bled to death? I bet you he fucking got killed. And you guys could set money, uh, the taxpayers' money, into getting lawyers to set people up, but can't even replace the couch that he died out, bled out on? I bet you if you thought you could throw me down them steps, you could. You guys could spend the taxpayers' money to, to hire attorneys to set innocent people up, but can't even replace a couch that a man bled out and died on? Okay, let them know. Okay.